Boy meets girl, boy tries to date girl, but this is Saudi Arabia and the challenges are enormous. In fact, that's sort of the point of Baraka meets Baraka. <laughs> Despite it being presented as a quirky comedy at the Berlin Film Festival. Since Saudi is, uh, in the last 30 years, has become so much limited, uh, limited in the face of uh, young, uh, the liberals, the, the more progressive, the, the women, the, the minorities, they're less visible in the streets. So uh, no one wants to watch a film maybe on public space. So I had to make a love story. And then, you know, uh, in the background, there is the story of, of, of the city, of public space. And if you're wondering just how much interest there is in the film, have a look at this. It's a complete sellout as the film gets its international premiere. Standards that made, you know. The young Saudi team who made the film financed it themselves because there is no film industry, let alone movie theatres in Saudi Arabia. And apart from getting around the censors, they had to constantly explain to people what they were doing. I had this realisation that it was... Of course, a different character, but for other people, it was still me. And so when someone walking down the street or driving by recognized me, they wouldn't recognize me as Bibi. They would like to see Fatima. They would come by and like say, hi, and what are you doing here? And so I was like... The movie, which got a great reaction here, is careful to show traditional Saudi culture in a positive light, but it doesn't pull its punches about society's problems. I was surprised about how in your face it was and how lightly it dealt with very, very serious matters. Uh, to make a movie fun was a, a certain critique to the culture. This is what I think is not so easy to do. When... Well, they have done it against all the odds and they hope they can inspire more Saudi movie makers to do the same. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera, Berlin.